Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Next, David Cameron's approach to foreign policy has been criticised in new claims this morning from a biogra biography written by the former Conservative Party Treasurer, Lord Ashcroft. The Prime Minister is portrayed as incompetent for the part he played in the toppling of Colonel Gaddafi in Libya and for his handling of the ongoing war in Syria. Let's talk to our political guru, Norman Smith. Norman, tell us uh, what claims are made in the serialisation today. Well, it's interesting. I mean, there's an awful lot more of the sort of allegations about the sort of people Mr Cameron uh, mixes with and so on and so forth but there's also a slightly more serious tone to it because he takes a bit of a pasting from figures in the military or linked to the military about his approach to foreign affairs in particular to war the suggestion that uh, Libya was his equivalent of uh, Tony Blair's Iraq even though at the time of course the overthrow of Colonel Gaddafi was deemed to be a huge success and uh, was something of a political triumph for uh, Mr Cameron let's just remind ourselves indeed how he was received when he actually went to Tripoli after the overthrow of Gaddafi. Now what is interesting Vic is in today's Daily Mail we hear from uh, General Sir David Richards, former Chief of Defence Staff during the Libya conflict who is very critical of Mr Cameron's approach during the Libya conflict. He says, we never analysed things properly, we didn't understand the tribal dimension. I kept saying there was a large tribal element and kept being poo-pooed. Similarly, from uh, Michael Ankrum, a member of the Intelligence and Security Committee, also a former Tory chairman, actually, who says to claim it was only about protecting citizens in Benghazi, so we're going to bomb the daylights out of Gaddafi. Just doesn't hold water. Like Blair, he was determined to change regime. Now, why this all matters, Vic, is because we know we are probably on the cusp of some sort of military intervention in Syria. How so? Well, listen to David Cameron in the Commons earlier this month. I believe there is a strong case for the UK taking part in airstrikes as part of the international coalition to target ISIL in Syria as well as Iraq. And I believe that case only goes stronger with a growing number of terrorist plots being directed or inspired by ISIL's core leadership in Raqqa. But I've been absolutely clear that the government will return to this House for a separate vote if we propose to join coalition strikes in Syria. One of the things I find interesting, Vic, about this is I wonder whether post-Iraq actually military figures are now more willing to speak out. You think over the weekend we had a lot of sort of anonymous briefings about uh, Jeremy Corbyn and how the military would react to him if he became Prime Minister. Likewise in the States, just remember we had uh, General Stanley McChrystal, I don't know if you remember him, former chief of uh, the American military in Afghanistan who spoke out against President Obama and uh, some of his senior administration officials and was duly sacked for speaking out. But you wonder if the military actually do now feel post-Iraq that they have an obligation to speak out more. What about um, any other allegations in, in the serialisation in the Daily Mail today? Well, there's an awful lot, as I say, about the sort of people uh, Mr Cameron socialises with, the parties he goes to, so on and so forth. But actually, the thing that I thought was most interesting was this. Now, I don't know if you can see this. Let's just... If you can take a look at that, that actually is the first ever, ever, ever picture of David Cameron going fox hunting. Uh, that is in 2004 at a hunt just outside his uh, Chipping Norton constituency, I think just after Christmas. And there's Cameron uh, all dressed up to go hunting. Now that too is of interest because we know that we probably are going to get another vote on fox hunting pretty soon. Indeed, we had one. Uh, back in July, you remember there, that was blocked after the SNP said they were going to vote with Labour. They were going to vote, even though it was only an English matter. And there were protests in Parliament too, so it was stopped then. But uh, it's absolutely clear, because you know Mr Cameron has said so, that uh, he is going to bring that back, and it's in the party manifesto. So we will get another vote on fox hunting pretty soon, I would think. Thank you very much, Norman. Norman Smith, our political guru at Westminster.